Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and for today's puzzling video, I'm gonna be telling you guys 20 puzzles that I want to do this year in 2020. Let's go, I'm excited about it. I have some like specific puzzles and then I just have any puzzle by a certain brand cause like I just really wanna try one of those particular puzzles. So the very first puzzle on my list, oh also because I don't own, actually I mean I own a couple of these they've just been like on my shelf for a long time so i want to get into them but most of them the majority of them i don't own i i've seen pictures of them obviously um or i'm asking for them for my birthday or um i'm just keeping an eye out when i go to like thrift stores and in my puzzle swapping group and stuff like that just to like get my hands on them um but yeah so let's start so the first puzzle that I really want to do this year is called Avocado Park and it's by Gibson Puzzles. And if you know me, you know I love all things avocado and this puzzle looks so cool. The next one that I want to do is the Ikea puzzle and this is a really small puzzle. It's only like 250 I want to say pieces. Um, I thought they only had one, but I guess they come out with a new puzzle every so often because I've recently started seeing pictures of like older Ikea puzzles and I'm like, I need all of those in my life. They just look fun and they're weird shapes and I don't know. I just think it'd be cool and I really want to try an Ikea puzzle. Another one that I want to do is called White-Tailed Deer. It's a Schmidt puzzle and I actually own it. It's, uh, this one. Hold on. All right, so this is it. Um, I got this puzzle when I was about, I was probably 12 or 13 when I got this puzzle. And oh yeah, I remember actually, this kid that lived across the street from me, Ryan, his mom was like really into puzzles and she always did these like cool shaped ones and they had them up all over their house. And that was the first time I'd ever seen a shaped puzzle. And I was like, I really want that. I got one, that's what it looked like. But I haven't done it since then. And I'm gonna be 29 in 20 days, so. I figure I should pull it out since it's, you know, been like 15 years. <laughs> Another one that I really wanted to do, I got for my birthday last year and it's literally still in the shrink wrap. It's called Blue. Is it here right here behind me? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's pull out another one. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Uh, so it's this one. It's uh, a Cobble Hill puzzle in the Shelly Davis series and she's like a rainbow series where she's obviously red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then pink, black, and white. Um, and apparently if you do all the puzzles, all the colored, like in the series, and line them all up together once they're all done, it's like a continuous image. Mainly because, here's my issue, I want to do all of them and line them all up, but I don't want to have it built and then just like hanging out in my house for like eight months. So I kind of want to amass all of them and then do them all, but also like Jessica's cheap and is never gonna buy a brand new puzzle so it either has to be gifted to me or I have to find it second hand. Another one that I want to do okay the next few I have I'm gonna stop pulling them out because like I feel like this tire is gonna follow me but it's um this one right here and it's called sorry I have them all written down inside the museum um it's a 500 piece and it's by um Puzzles Plus is puzzles plus I don't know for a long time I think I had it in my head that it was a thousand pieces and it was gonna take me a long time because it's like a whole bunch it's like a where's Waldo puzzle where it's like really really tiny a whole bunch of people uh, but it's only 500 so like it should be a breeze but anyways that's on my list for this year another one I want to do is bottle cap hills by Ravensburger I also have that behind me it's this beautiful rainbow of bottles all right so another one i want to do is called the toronto skyline and it's by milton bradley also i own it i bought it last year just never got around to it because one has a lot of puzzles when you're me i have a lot of puzzles it's a problem okay so the eighth thing i have on my list just says a wooden puzzle um i really want to try a wooden puzzle there's a guy that is in the puzzle swap group who actually used to make wooden puzzles which like blows my mind but i just want to like buy one like actually invest money into it and get it and keep it forever and love it so much there's so many amazing wooden puzzle makers that i see on instagram and i'm just like the cheap jessica is gonna have to leave for a minute while the bougie jessica buys an 80 dollar puzzle 
So number nine and 10 are kind of cheating because one's just like the bigger version of the other. But I really want to do the 1000 colors puzzle. And I also really want to do the 5000 colors puzzle. That's the one that has like each puzzle piece is its own color and you have to like put them in color order. I think that would be so cool. So that's like eight and nine because one's a thousand and one's five thousand. But they're different puzzles because it's not just the same image. Smaller. Or bigger it's like more colors in the image hmm I don't know how to explain that other than what I just did so take from that what you got I also really want to do uh, one of the Ravensburger crypt puzzles so it comes in black gold and silver I have the silver one I really want to do is it black and gold and silver I think so Anyways, I really want to do one of the three. I have one of them, so I should obviously do the one I have. But, like, how cool would it be to do all three? All right, so another puzzle I want to do is the Astrology Puzzle by Gallison. That's, like, um, a purpley, pinkish, blue galaxy background type thing. And then there's, like, gold foil um, astrology signs and stars all over it. Uh, I saw that one on Instagram last year at the beginning of the year and I died over it and I wanted it so badly. And then I found it at a thrift store like that wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so fingers crossed when I put it together, all the pieces are there because I'm very excited about it. All right. So the next one is just like a type of puzzle. I want to do a hot air balloon puzzle. I think those are some like the prettiest puzzles like they just look so aesthetically pleasing and I just have never done a hot air balloon puzzle so that's one that I want to do this year another one that I want to do is uh, a puzzle of puzzle pieces I know Ravensburger has one um and there's they have one that's like puzzle pieces and the puzzle sorting trays which is cool and then I saw another one that's just like a puzzle of puzzle pieces where it's like all just puzzle pieces and I think that would be really cool and challenging and also would mess with your brain a little bit so the 15th kind of puzzle that I want to do is something 3,000 pieces or bigger that's because th uh, not this year anymore <laughs> last year in 2019 the biggest puzzle I finished was a 3,000 piece but it was missing five pieces so it was really only a 2,995 piece puzzle so I want to try to up that and do a 3,000 piece or bigger so I have a couple 3,000s, but it doesn't really have to be one of those specifically. It could just be any 3,000 piece. Hi, Elsa. <gasps> wow, that's beautiful. The next puzzle brand that I want to try is Ebu. Ebu. So I've heard a few things. First of all, I've heard the pieces are really shiny, which concerns me because I'm not super fan of shiny puzzle pieces. It's just like... I, I puzzle when my kid is asleep, so usually nighttime and I have just like synthetic lights on, like a light bulb instead of like daylight. Um, so the glare is not ideal when, and it's really bad when the pieces are shiny, but some of their images, oh my gosh, are beautiful that I'd be willing to, you know, deal with the shininess in order to try the piece or try the puzzle. And I've actually never done an Ibu puzzle, so that's on the list for 2020. So another one that I want to try is the puzzle called NASA Cosmic Winter Wonderland and it's by Puzzle So Hard. That's um, an Instagram account that I follow and like where have I been living that I didn't know that they made puzzles until like a couple months ago and then I was like um hello why don't I have these in my life because if you look at like their website oh my goodness these puzzles are beautiful so i really they they have a whole bunch that i want to try and honestly i'd be happy to try any of them but if i could specifically pick one it would be the nasa cosmic winter wonderland so another one brand i guess that i really want to try is area wear um and particularly one of their gradient puzzles all right so the last thing on the list is number 20 and it's very fitting um I want to try one of my own puzzles now I don't have a puzzle line or anything okay so in the past <coughs> like before when I used to make YouTube videos um, I was in contact with this company who turned some of my artwork because I'm a painter into puzzles and sent them to me and that was the coolest thing in the world and I did a whole bunch I did the ones that he sent me and I love him 
Um, since then, I've been painting on top of puzzles that I know I don't want to trade or get rid of or anything. Um, like, that I don't want anymore. But the puzzle quality, the piece is really good. So I have been painting over them and, like, painting my own images on these puzzles. Um, but I've never, a, like, done, like, a thousand piece puzzle, like, made it my own and then done it again. I usually, like work on puzzles that have a missing piece and instead of like throwing it out or whatever I'll like take a section of the puzzle and make it into a new puzzle and then do that so it's kind of two things I want to do one of my own that's over 500 pieces does that make sense so those are 20 puzzles I would like to get done in 2020 um we'll see what happens uh, I guess I can update you at the end of the year <laughs> and let you know if I accomplish those things or not. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below of any puzzles you really wanna try this year or are on your puzzle bucket list. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.